Abu Melich was the name of multiple Philistine kings mentioned in the Hebrew Bible. Etymology Abu Melich's name is thought to mean my father is king, and could be simply a generic title given to a crown prince. However, it appears it could also refer to a ruling king, as described in the Haggadah when Ben Melech, son of Abba Melech, changes his own name to Abu Melech when he becomes king. At the time of the Armana tablets, there was an Egyptian governor of Tyre similarly named Abu Milki, who is sometimes speculated to be connected with one or more of the biblical Abba Melechs. Abu Melech of Gerar Abu Melech was most prominently the name of a polytheistic king of Gerar who is mentioned in two of the three wife-sister narratives in Genesis, in connection with both Abraham and Isaac. The Haggadah identifies them as references to separate people, the second being the first Abu Melech's son, and that his original name was Ben Melech but changed his name to his father's. King Abu Melech of Gerar also appears in an extra-biblical tradition recounted in texts such as the Kitab al-Magal, the Cave of Treasures and the conflict of Adam and Eve with Satan, as one of twelve regional kings in Abraham's time said to have built the city of Jerusalem for Melchizedek. Other people with this name, apart from the king of Gerar, the Bible also records this name for Abu Melech, proclaimed king after the death of his father Gideon, the son of Abiathar, and high priest in the time of David. In the parallel passage, 2 Samuel chapter 8 verse 17, the name is given as Ahimelech. Most authorities consider this the more correct reading. The king of Gath, better known as Achish, referred to as Abu Melech or Archimelech in the title of Psalm chapter 34. Other literary references include Abu Melech, Satrap of Gaza as a character in St. Sans opera Samson and Delilah.